Let's say we're trying to solve the equation square root of 3x minus 8 minus the square root of x equals 0. We can start by recognizing that we have two radicals on one side of the equation, and we should always try to get one single radical on each side if there are multiple of them. So we start by adding the square root of x to the right-hand side. Square root of x plus 0 is simply square root of x. Now that the radical is isolated, or the radicals are isolated, we can square both sides to get rid of the square root. On the left-hand side, this leaves us with just 3x minus 8. On the right-hand side, we're left with simply x. This should be a fairly simple equation to solve. We start by subtracting the x and adding the 8 over to the other sides. 3x minus x gives us 2x. The 8 comes along. And then finally, in order to solve for x, we can divide both sides by 2, which indicates that x equals 4. Because we had an even index in the original question, we have to check our answers. So we write down our equation and then replace all the x's with the number 4, our potential solution. On the left-hand side, 3 times 4 gives us 12. 12 minus the 8 gives us 4. And here we're left with square root of 4 minus square root of 4 equals 0. Again, we have a question mark because we don't know that this statement is true. We're trying to determine the truth value of it. Well, square root of 4 minus square root of 4 is simply 0. Something subtracted from itself will always yield 0. And 0 does indeed equal 0, so this gives us a true statement. This indicates or proves that x equals 4 is a solution to the original equation.